today we are going to be doing a get ready with me and it is going to be a Christmas version because today is Christmas and the theme of this get ready with me is kind of like a uh, budget friendly because I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see more budget friendly uh, skincare so I decided to look for more budget friendly and I got some and I've been trying it out and I'm going to be making a video on it soon but you guys get a sneak peek if you watch this so let's get started so the first thing that I'm going to be using is this Innisfree minimum for sensitive skin toner it is a spray on toner which I don't really like like spraying things at my face so I just take it into the palm of my hand and I do a couple spritz and then I just apply it like this. Um, this toner, I believe, is $9. Believe it or not, it's really hard to actually find good toners and effective toners or just effective products in general for your skin. Because a lot of drugstore brands, I feel, um, not all, um, but a lot of them, they tend to be actually pricier than this than this like $9 toner. Most of the toners are over $10. At least that's what I've been seeing at drugstores when I was trying to look for you guys. So I kind of believe that not all inexpensive things have to be found at a drugstore. It's one reason why I really like Korean Beauty is because it ranges and you can find a very expensive side and a very uh, cheap side or more inexpensive and you could still find the same effectiveness at least drugstores in America it's a little bit harder to find things that are effective and priced um, respectively you know honestly sometimes there are certain things you should splurge on and some things you shouldn't and it's always good to be budget friendly um, especially I have to start thinking about being budget friendly um, since I will be going away to college. So the next thing that I'm going to use, I'm gonna skip Essence for now. This is a very minimal skincare routine and honestly, it can bring you a long way. Um, so I'm going to be using the Ebonol Hyaluronic Peptide Serum and this has hyaluronic acid in it. It's 50% hyaluronic acid, which is very concentrated and it's really good for pulling moisture from deep within the layers of the skin. All skin types can use this uh, serum because everyone has dehydrated skin. It doesn't, hyaluronic acid isn't like an oil. It's like, it's a serum and it's very light. And I just, I really like using this. I even use a little bit on my lips, especially during Christmas time or especially during winter time. Um, my lips get really dry. So I like take a little bit of hyaluronic acid and I put this on my lips and it kind of pulls everything back up all the hydration this serum is ten dollars and I actually found this while I was at Ipsy um, Generation Beauty and Ipsy um, doesn't have a lot of skincare like they used to um, which is a little disappointing but um, I found Evanol there and I really like them and they have really nice products for really nice prices. I think they're very fairly priced. I don't think anything is really overpriced and they stand by what they claim, which is something I believe in. Um, it's integrity and a lot of brands don't have that, unfortunately, and it takes a lot of research and digging to find the ones that do. So when you do, you love to stick with them. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna use isn't budget friendly. I kind of went off on a little thing here. I just really wanted some extra hydration today and I'm using the Volufilin? Volufilin? You know, I never really looked at this before. Well, it's Volufilin um, 15 Eye Essence by Eagle Your Skin. Uh, and this is a eye essence and it looks like, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like this goopy gel texture, but it's still really light. It's much lighter than any under eye cream I've ever used really before. I really love this one because it's so light, but it's 
just thick enough to give you that hydration and just light enough to not be like overbearing on your eyes or just on your skin in general because I do use this on my t-zone area because that's where I, I get dry so I put it up between my eyebrows and then I put it on my lash lines and then I also put it on my lips because it actually fills in any fine lines so for those of you who are a little bit worried about aging or um, already have some fine lines on your lips this is definitely a nice product because it'll fill that in and plump up the lips so let's get on to our moisturizer and this is the Citrus Honey Aqua Glow Hydrating Moisturizing Gel. And this is by Peach and Lily. And um, this does not have any fragrance in it. And it is $12. I really like this honey, this Citrus Honey um, Moisturizer. Uh, because it's really hydrating and very light. And it does have honey in it. So it's really good for hydration. And it has a lot of antioxidants in it. So it'll really build up that skin barrier as well feels really nice on the skin especially when you're going out um, just you don't want something super thick um, and it's really light it's light enough and it won't leave a really shiny residue and I think it's really good for combination skin maybe maybe oily skin I would definitely try it if I had oily skin since that was a little short I just realized um, I'm going to be doing a also makeup portion of this one um, I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see how I do my makeup. I don't really do a lot. Um, I keep it very minimal. Uh, <laughs> and I've also been starting, not recently, but for the past like two years, I haven't worn foundation. Um, it's just something that I don't really need to do personally, but it's also something that is also, I feel is beneficial for the skin if you have that option. If you feel comfortable enough taking that step to do that um, it would definitely be beneficial for the skin but if you don't feel comfortable doing it or if you also love wearing foundation that's definitely up to you guys so for me my skincare is kind of like my makeup so I'm definitely going to be talking a bit more during this I just want to I realized I wanted to share a bit more with you guys just to talk to you guys a bit more I feel like I haven't been talking or I don't talk a lot so Let's get into the makeup and let's get into just talking about some things, maybe. I'll go over like maybe a little bit about me. So yeah, so I'm currently still awaiting like acceptance letters and everything and I did apply to a college. It's called Early Decision if you guys don't really know. Um, what that is or if it's been a long time it's where you apply to a college and if you get in it's like this binding agreement that you have to go if you get in so it usually makes it a bit easier to get into the college because you're already guaranteeing that you're going to give them all your money if you get in so they're like oh okay so you're definitely like in interested in this college so we're gonna look at you more closely and like help hopefully we'll make you our first priority um, I did that and I did not get in and it has taught me a lot about myself because I feel like as a kid you don't get rejected much in life so it's good to um, get rejected uh, because getting rejected helps you to move on and learn and reflect and honestly I feel like you learn more when you lose than you do when you win so I think for me getting rejected is like a good thing in a way it's kind of what's going on in my life so I guess what I also learned was that a lot of people tend to look for happiness in college um, especially if you're out of college right now or if you're in the workforce you might know how um, college may have been this like freedom for a lot of um, people who are in high school it's like this source of freedom from your parents all that stuff and I, I never saw it especially as freedom from my parents but more of just like this independence and maybe I can get more like experience and internships and you know as a kid it's harder to gain its experience and like fields that you're very interested in because you're still a kid you don't have a lot of experience in general so so that's how I kind of saw it 
but um, I also kind of realized that like seeking happiness in something like college or like a new job or a new house, you know, if you look for happiness somewhere else and you constantly feel like that next place is going to give you that happiness, you're never going to be happy with yourself, you know, because if you're constantly looking at the next best thing and you're gonna and you're saying well if I get into college I'm gonna be happy or if I get this new job or if I get buy this new like real estate or something I'm gonna be happy finally the materialistic things won't make you happy in life you have to be happy with yourself and who you are at the moment and even if you're not in your best state you have to be happy with it or you have to at least find the, the good in what you are currently in order to be happy because objects and places and things won't bring you the happiness at least that you're looking for and it might not even bring you the happiness that you think you're going to get because you're creating this fantasy especially when you're young you feel like as long as you get away from home you're going to be happy and maybe in some cases you will be but I feel like in a lot of cases you won't because you're not happy with yourself so I just put on some Lancome mascara and I really like this mascara um, because it's really just lengthening and natural um, and then I, I use this comb um, and it's actually an eyebrow comb but I use the bristle part over here it looks like metal can see it and I put it through my eyelashes like that yeah like this might scare you guys <laughs> sorry <laughs> but that's what I do and then I take this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer and it's um, I love this I've been using this forever and ever and ever I brush up and then I brush down a little bit it creates like this straighter look on your hair on your eyebrow um, it kind of puts them all into line and then it makes it easier to control when you're brushing it so this Christmas the one thing that I was really excited about was I got um, I'm able to go to this Korean spa in um, Edgewater up by New York I'm very very excited to go and I want to do some filming for you guys there um, hopefully I can bring my camera um, definitely going to be focusing on relaxing as well but I did want to get some nice shots for you guys to be honest this is all I do for makeup so thank you guys so much for watching this was my get ready with me on Christmas I know we got a little deep there I wasn't really expecting to talk so much about what I was thinking but maybe we can make this a bit more personal because um, I really like doing get ready with me's and if you watch me on Instagram I definitely do a lot of get ready with me's but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this video has helped you to feel a bit more comfortable in your own skin